Okay, so I'm really curious to find out if people that use Katia make use of hotkeys. I'm really curious because I haven't seen anyone use them. Especially on the most popular YouTube videos, they all prefer the point and click method. So the point and click method is to choose a desired element, in this case, for example, a line and start drawing with that. Or you can double click on that, that will make the, that command to be active until uh, stopped. We see that we can draw lines like this. We can cancel that by pressing the escape key. This is the preferred way that I like to, but we can also stop that by clicking on that one. But I, I feel like that uh, takes a lot more time, so it's not that productive. And um, this why I also decided to make this video, because I'm curious if people have set their own hotkeys in order to be more productive. And over here, I'm not talking by the default hotkeys within Katia, such as F3 to hide that, uh, that tree, or the classical um, Ctrl C, which will copy and further will paste when pressed again. So I'm not talking about this kind of uh, hotkeys. We can use this uh, copy paste not only within a sketch, we can use that within an assembly on either a product or a body or a feature over there. And with paste, we're going to have much more, uh, let's say, cho elements to choose. So not just like this, you paste it. And since uh, Katia had selected a sketch, it will paste it directly on top of that existing sketch. So for me, I've set some of hot, some of the hotkeys. And uh, these are for rectangle, Alt plus R, this will allow me to draw rectangles. Alt plus C, this is for circles. Alt plus L, this is a bit of a stretch because I prefer to use the Alt key on the left side of the keyboard and L is on the other side. But I can also make use of the other Alt to do this. And uh, also one really important fe a feature is constraint. So this is Alt D that allows me to set the dimension between various elements within the sketch. So in order to access hotkeys uh, within Katia, we can go at the bottom. So this is one of the main problem with Katia. As you can see, I would prefer to have them simple. So I don't want to press Alt, Control, or Shift, or something else in order to access those. I would prefer just to press R. That will allow me to draw a rectangle. But in Katia, by default, this will go over here on the command prompt, which is quite quite a hassle. I still prefer to keep the command prompt on. For example, if I will leave this sketch, I see that I am within uh, part design. And for some reason, I would like to define a helix. I can do that easily just by typing in the command over here. So C after those helix, and we're going to see that we're going to have that helix curve definition feature pop up. So even though the helix is not available within part design over here, it's mostly from uh, other workbenches that are compatible with part design, such as generative shape design, we're going to see that the helix will be on the wireframe right underneath the spline will be the helix. Or we can find the helix within mechanical design, wireframe and surface design. And over here, it will be underneath the spline, but we won't have so many options uh, like in uh, generative shape design over here. So if you want to add hotkeys to Katia. If you haven't done this already, you can right click over here. You can go to customize. This is a faster um, version. You can also go to tools, customize. We we'll bring in the same, um, the same dialog box. And over here we have the command feature. And this interface is quite, quite hard to navigate, but we can go to all commands. And if I'm going to press over here L, that's for 
the first one will be law but if i will go to line we're gonna see that we have the show properties over here and we can see that we can use this accelerator so we cannot set it directly to l i would prefer to have it like this so if i will just have this as simple l now if i will press l by default katia v5 will go over here where we can type in um, commands so this is something that uh, is quite annoying and i'm curious if you disabled this command prompt or if you use some weird hotkeys i prefer to use simple hotkeys for example i use the same within other software like we see over here within solidworks i prefer to use the same so without the alt r will be for rectangle c will be for circle l will be for line and d will be smart dimension which is also let's say called constraint within katia and if you are also using other software such as fusion you will know that these are the defaults within fusion so over here if i'm gonna move my cursor over here we see two point rectangle will be r circle diameter will be like this c for circle l for line and again d for sketch dimension as is the name over here which is similar to constraint in katia or smart dimension within uh, within solidworks so these are the hotkeys that i prefer it's a little bit of a hassle since i have to use those with alt in katia but some other hotkeys are way more difficult in katia for example if you're gonna go to imagine and shape we're gonna see that over here we have these weird hotkeys so for example the sphere I will have to press alt shift and h for that so this is quite of a struggle and a hustle to to press three buttons for uh, for this and uh, we see others have like uh, alt shift and o okay so this is even harder to to press since they are so far apart you need both hands in order to do that i don't understand why by default they would go for something like this i know that katia is not specifically created for imagining shape this is just a workbench feature that enables freeform modeling and stuff like that but to have the hotkeys like this for translation control shift t for example i would like to maybe go now to scaling so for that i prefer to click them over here in katia in order to access those so it's really complicated Control shift and a just to access the scaling and afterwards we would no need maybe vertex selection this is the default one but maybe i was over here and i need to press alt Control v for that so it's a real hassle i prefer to just select those and afterwards work with that by going like this this is why i'm moving the tool palette within the viewport closer so for example like this and afterwards i can just grab the point so i'm still in scaling i will go translation have that translated afterwards select both of those and have them scaled so i'm not sure why they decided to make the hotkeys so difficult but i'm really curious for simple elements like part design and so on if you are using hotkeys or not also if you can um, so in order to to discuss i would like to if you could also reply within a comment what is your uh, let's say experience with katia for example for me i've been using katia v5 since i was a student from 2009 and um back then i didn't use hotkeys so it was mostly going like this point and clicking especially for imagine and shape and um, let me show you some of my my projects so you see over here this is a project uh, from my third year at the university 
this is a coffee maker if i'm gonna select the files we're gonna see that uh, the files were created uh, june 20 2009 i will also open this so this was the first project that um, i created in imagining shape i will enable the views let me open the whole project because there are also the sketch attached to that so this is part two but i will open the product not only the part because over here we have also the sketches used to draw this as we can see this is the coffee maker also with some textures there are some hand sketches uh, that i drawn of this coffee maker in fact um, if i'm gonna take a look at this for example for the front view i will go to properties we're gonna see that within the details this photo so the date when the photo was taken and uh, we're gonna see that this was taken using a nokia phone so back then smartphones were just starting to appear and um, i had a nokia like that there's a version so let me search it this was the the smartphone so nokia 6120 classic that i used to take those photos of the hand sketches and afterwards i designed this the project is not very good aligned so now if i would have to do this again i would totally do it differently but back then as a first project for a student in imagining shape this was pretty decent i see that the naming for the parts i kept it like that so just inserted a new part and it's mostly done in subdivision and afterwards streaming and stuff like that also keep in mind that back then it was really hard to okay so also keep in mind that back then it was really hard to follow videos in order to to learn a software like this so i was mainly using forums naturally most of you are uh, are familiar with engineeringtips.com over here you can search by a specific software in this case katia v5 and we see various posts i'm gonna go for something like this one so this was created in 2008 katia v5 how to create points equidistant from both ends of a curve if you're gonna take a look it was mostly text-based but we could also add some images if we had some question and during that coffee maker i also posted various questions over here but back then afterwards um, youtube slowly started to to rise up and uh, all let's say the videos and tutorials and how to were moved towards youtube okay so i have also searched the channels with most views regarding katia and um, the most viewed channels are tutorial engineer and over here he also just clicks so doesn't use any hotkeys this is also a beginner tutorial so maybe that is one of the reason why he does it like this but uh, he has some of the most viewed katia tutorials on uh, youtube also this was posted nine years ago in 2014 so this is quite quite old and even for others we see over here seven years ago a lot of views and he uses the same point and clicking workflow over here so if he adds those constraints he will go he will select those and this is the main reason why i decided to ask this question if people do make use of this productivity utility because after i started to work a lot with solidworks fusion i really enjoy working with hotkeys and this is one of the elements that are lacking at, at least for me since i have set them like that and mostly i started to do various design products and the imagine shape hotkeys are just dreadful for me 
Okay, so I hope that you like this content. So if so, if you are willing to, please let me know in the comment section for how long are you using Katia and if you are using hotkeys and what are those exact hotkeys that you define in order to boost your productivity. Okay, so thanks for watching. Remember to stay creative and I'll see you in the next video.